Never in my wildest dreams I would have thought the Miami Dolphins would make this big of a splash in free agency. The 2018, goodness gracious, man. When I did that free agency video the other day, I'm thinking we're going to go out of some low-profile free agency because of the fact that we ain't had no cap space. But shit, dominoes started falling. When I mean dominoes started falling, them motherfuckers fell all around the table. Because with that being said, Sue gone freeing up cap space. He ends up getting cut. Um, uh, Mike Pouncey gone. He ends up getting cut. Freeing up some cap space. Ryan Tannehill ends up restructuring his contract. Rashad Jones ends up restructuring his contract. Um, but they end up they end up freeing up a lot of cap space. And I have a feeling that the Miami Dolphins are going to be are going to be aren't going to be finished as far as making moves in free agency. So I know I missed out on yesterday and and today. So we're gonna go over go over these moves one by one here. Now my personal favorite that I that I was hoping for because for some particular reason over the past couple of seasons the Miami Dolphins have failed to sign offensive linemen in the damn uh, off season as far as a, a Pro Bowl caliber offensive lineman and that's Josh Sitton. I like hey excellent resume has a couple Pro Bowls under his belt. Um, obviously known on our league as a, as an elite. Uh, a guard so I'm happy the Miami Dolphins decided to go out to a top dog and, 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 and keep Ryan Tannehill upright like the the future is bright for Ryan Tannehill as far as this offensive line for 2018 now also we end up making that trade uh, for uh, Kilgore I like that I, 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 to be honest with you 49ers fans I need to know what you guys I want to hear y'all opinion I don't care about what no damn pro football focus says I don't care what the stats say. I only care about is what, what the eye test say because pro football focus can be can be deceiving. As like Mike Pouncey says, he was like 28th or 28th. I don't believe that shit. I don't believe it. Me be looking at using the eye test, Mike Pouncey don't look the same as when he first got drafted, and which is a liability on, on on the offensive line. Like I told you, when it comes down to Mike Pouncey, when that boy is always hurt, always hurt. And then when it comes down to when he gets hurt, we got to have depth at the offensive line. That's why we have so much goddamn versatility. We have offensive linemen that can play center, guard, tackle because of the fact that Mike Pouncey, when he out, we got to be have that, that contingency plan for them to come in and, 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 and you know, put a Band-Aid on it. Not exactly, you know, heal the wound, but take, but take care of the quarterback just enough for us to get through the game. That's not that. Oh, my goodness. I appreciate everything that Mike Pouncey has done for the Miami Dolphins in his Pro Bowl seasons. But at the end of the day, he was not worth the money that he was receiving. And it's time to give somebody else a shot. The offensive line is looking bright right now. Literally looking bright. Um, the two receivers. Excuse me. Uh, Danny Amendola and Albert Wilson. Now... I, I, I wanted to wait a little bit to see what was going to happen after these two moves it hit. I thought they was going to make a move with Devontae Parker or something. But to be honest with you, with the whole Albert Williams and the Danny, o Danny Amendola uh, pickups, um, I honestly didn't think that we needed another slot receiver, to be honest with you. Like, I know Albert, Albert Wilson is a little bit a slight upgrade as far as speed. Um... I, he, has some, he has some nice little elusiveness to him, a good, a good blocker. But to be honest, I thought it was shot. It was time to give Jakeem Grant a shot. Uh, goes to show. Now I take Karoo might be on a tight at a tightrope right now. So this this uh, this off season OTAs training camp should be an interesting little uh, position battle as far as that slot receiver. But honestly, I thought um, Jakeem Grant was the favorite. So those two receivers, Albert Wilson. And Danny Amendola. Not, not even over six feet. Albert Wills is about 5'9. Danny Amendola is about 5'11. Yeah, like yeah, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm not I'm not seeing the logic in those two pickups, but I guess time will tell. Maybe somehow the Miami Dolphins will prove me wrong as far as why they made their moves. But if there's anybody else to be moved on from, it should be it should be Devontae Parker, because that butt bum ain't making no plays for us. So I don't even see why he even on the squad. Like he's straight up liability. You know, I can't say that other word to go copyright me for that, but you know what I mean by that. But, um, man, excellent, excellent, excellent moves as far as 
that 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 jaw sitting move and that kill goal move. I like those moves. Again, like I said, with a cut down the offensive lineman, I have to I have to hear y'all you guys' opinion from the former squad that I used to play for that watched them games day in and day out for me to for me to get a clear picture exactly what I'm getting. You know what it is. Oh, hold on one couple more things. Couple more things. Of course, like I said, Rashad Jones restructured his contract. Walt Akins also he signed a new deal. Walt Akins is the, is the safety special teams player. I personally like Walt Akins because of the fact that he's tall and lanky. He can come in and play corner or safety. Didn't exactly live up to promise like I thought he was going to be, uh, but still he's a good good special teams player. William Hayes as well. He is coming back. Um, Jawan James signed his fifth year option. After Rashad, Rashad Jones decided to restructure his contract, I believe Juwan James's fifth year option is like nine point three million, something like that. But uh, yeah, again, let me know what you guys think, especially about those that Josh sitting and that Kilgore, uh, those kill, that Kilgore pickup. I test, I test only 49ers fans and Chicago Bears fans. What, what, what did, did they do? I right for y'all for him for to say to be on a Miami Dolphin, a Miami Dolphins uniform. You know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. I'm up out of here.